Welcome to our Collective Tech channel today. We bring you the top 10 tips for GTA Online that every beginner should know. Fresh players are still flying into the multiplayer world of Los Santos and Blaine County on a regular basis, which is why we've put together this GTA Online Beginner's Guide to help them start out the right way. Your initial forays can feel somewhat intimidating when you set foot in GTA Online, as the area covered is so huge and there are players around you with years of experience. But if you take our advice, then you can ensure you'll still get the most out of the game. Let us lead you through our GTA Online Beginner's Guide as we aid you with navigating the opening setup and missions that will eventually take you down the path to criminal success. Before we continue, please hit the subscribe button and click the bell icon to get more videos. Number 10. What lifestyle options should I choose in the character creator? When you get started in GTA Online, the first thing you'll be presented with is the character creator, where you can choose various lifestyle options to determine how your character spends a typical 24 hours. These alter your player stats and to an extent your appearance, but in all honesty, the effect is minimal and has little bearing on actual gameplay, so instead you should focus on the appearance section of the character creator. You're going to be spending a lot of time looking at your avatar, and once your overall look is locked in, it can be very expensive to make further changes, so make sure you're happy before moving on to start the game. Number 9. Can you skip the GTA Online tutorial? Well, after creating your character, you're going to board a flight into Los Santos International Airport and begin the tutorial section. You may see a prompt with the option to skip the GTA Online tutorial, but you absolutely shouldn't, as it is an invaluable introduction to the mechanics of the online world. Lamar Davies will pick you up and guide you through the basics, including races, missions, shopping and robberies, as well as introducing you to several other handy contacts. Players have also experienced issues in the past with receiving missions to complete if they skip the tutorial, so make sure you play through it as it's really not that long. Number 8 is, what should I do next? So with the tutorial completed, the whole world of GTA Online is opened up to you in free roam mode, and you can do whatever you want. This is the perfect opportunity to get out there and explore, so you can see exactly what's on offer to you. A good activity to get started is stealing vehicles and either delivering them to Simeon if they're on the wish list that he sends you, or taking them to Los Santos Customs so you can sell them. Either will turn you a profit, but there will then be a time delay before you can fence another vehicle in the same way. If you want a slightly more structured activity, open your phone, then choose Job List to find recent missions that you've been invited to, or Play Quick Job, then choose the type of mission you'd like to jump into. You can also choose a specific mission by pausing and going to online, jobs, play, job, then browsing through what's available there. Working through jobs is a great way to flesh out the story of what's happening in the GTA world, as well as bringing in new and familiar characters while you earn money and level up. Number 7 is, how do I stop other players griefing me? A lot of GTA online players you encounter is going to be friendly, but due to the nature of free roam, you'll sometimes find people who only want to cause chaos. This can be particularly frustrating if you just want to cruise around and explore the Los Santos streets, but another player is following you and constantly shooting you, running you over, blowing you up. So if you find yourself in that situation, there's several steps you can take to improve things. First, open the interaction menu, M on PC or a long press of the PS4 touchpad or XBO view button, and scroll to the bottom. You can enable passive mode. This will stop any other players from interacting with you, though in turn, you won't be able to equip any weapons or use melee attacks. If that interferes with your current activities, you can also pause, then go online, players menu, highlight the player in question, then select kick to suggest removing them from the session. If enough other players agree and do the same, they'll be removed. Finally, if you just want to get away from them, then either pause and select online, find new session, or choose a job to jump into, and you'll leave the troublesome player behind. Number 6. How do I replenish my health, armor, and ammo? As in GTA 5, your character's condition is measured by two factors, health and armor. Shown under your radar is green and blue bars, respectively. To recover your health, you can consume snacks by buying them from vending machines. Handily, you can also buy and stockpile them by visiting convenience stores 
then open the interaction menu and choose inventory, the snacks to eat them on the go and top up your health. Body armor is purchased at ammunition stores, and again, this can be stored in your inventory and equipped when required. You can choose which type of body armor is displayed on your character, or none at all if you'd prefer not to interfere with your existing outfit. Showing or hiding your armor doesn't affect the armor bar. While ammo is sold at ammunition, you can also buy it through the inventory menu, and although there's a convenience charge added to the cost if you use this route, it's definitely worthwhile if you found yourself short on bullets during a firefight. Number 5. Do I need to buy property? So there are different types of properties available for purchase, which open up various benefits to you for owning them. Garages allow you to store vehicles for personal use, so it's worth picking one up as soon as you can afford it. To see what's available, open the internet on your phone, then choose the Money and Services tab at the top and visit Dynasty 9 Real Estate. When you have a bit more money available, you should invest in a high-end apartment, as these not only provide a base of operations and somewhere to change your clothing, but also have attached garages for more vehicle storage and a planning room where you can prepare heists. Then there are business properties, which can open up whole new streams of missions to complete. Offices, purchased from Dynasty 8 Realty, let you run cargo and vehicle missions, while May's Bank Foreclosure will sell you everything from motorcycle clubhouses and nightclubs to huge underground bunkers. So all of these business activities require time and plenty of initial cash to get up and running. So don't worry about them too much when you start out. Number four, what's the best way to make money and level up fast? So a lot of the cool missions and weapons in GTA Online aren't available until you get to a certain rank which you increase by earning Reputation, or RP, for completing tasks in the game. If you want to know how to level up fast in GTA, then check out our separate guide to learn about adversary modes, cargo drops, working for organizations, and more. Likewise, there's very little available for free in GTA Online, so you're going to need to keep your virtual bank account topped up with GTA dollars if you want to keep your criminal enterprises up and running. Of course, you could just buy a GTA Online chart card for an instant cash injection, but that costs real money, so shouldn't be at the top of your priority list. We've got plenty of advice on how to make money fast at GTA Online in our other guide, so take a look for help with pulling off daring heists, cargo missions, VIP work, and other lucrative pastimes. Number 3. Get a Good Starter Car one of the first things a fresh GTA player will be told to do is steal a car off the street to make their own. This choice is very important, as initially players have to really struggle to put together cash. Without a house or a garage, they can only store one car at a time. While you can choose a car for free, this comes with a caveat where players aren't allowed to pick up cars that are too expensive. This does limit players' options, but there are still many viable cars to choose from. Number 2. Get Your Friends GTA Online is a chaotic world of fun, but that can also be problematic for new players. To some extent, we can say there are two ways to have fun in GTA. Having fun with friends or get used to crazy world of GTA Online alone. GTA Online is perfect worlds for a group of friends. Just imagine how fun and exciting it would be with a bunch of friends trolling around in GTA world or trying to heist together. On the other hand, if you play solo, then be prepared. Who knows what or who might hit you. Yeah, seriously, some random players like killing people in this game. That said, it's fun to play solo in the game, though high chance that you will be annoyed by many reasons occasionally. And number one, get your guns. So in GTA 5, you may not need to buy weapons since you can easily grab them from dead enemies. But in this online version, safety is extremely important, and therefore, you will want to at least get a gun for self-protection. There's no rule of what you must buy, just choose what you feel most reliable. Besides self-protection, you also need guns for various missions and heists. More reason to build up your arsenal, isn't it? However, in order to have more gun varieties and gun customizations, you need to level up your reputation level. And that's it for the top 10 tips for GTA Online that every beginner should know. If you liked our video, hit the like button and subscribe to our channel for more videos. Thank you for watching. We'll see you next time. Comment down below in your favorite part from the video.